On the edge of the wilderness, past the babbling creek, I found chicken of the woods growing on a down tree. I have searched all summer long for this mushroom, and now I have it right where I want it. Chicken of the woods is a yellow to orange colored shelf mushroom. It often grows in layers with mushrooms stacked one on top of the other. I found fresher specimens on the other side of the log. These mushrooms are best when they're soft, tender, and young. Older mushrooms can get chewy, tough, and bitter. The main chicken of the woods mushroom, or sulfur shell, has yellow pores on the underside. There is another subspecies of chicken of the woods that has a white pore underside. Both are edible. The rhododendron tree on which this mushroom grows on is toxic, so I had to be really careful to wash all the bark off. After harvesting the mushrooms, I head back through the forest to my house. I used to like dark conifer forests a lot better than hardwoods, but the beauty of the Blue Ridge Mountains changed my mind. Once I'm back on home turf, I head to the pond, which is a little swimming hole in the forest behind my house. Sometimes it's nice to get in the water to cool off, even if it's only for a few minutes. I'm the kind of person who likes ceaseless activity, so sometimes I have to meditate and force myself to slow down a little bit, just to ground myself and keep me from burning out. Building fires is another relaxing activity that forces me to slow down. Occasionally, I'll go a little overboard with my fire building. I meant to create a small cooking fire, but it got a little bigger than I anticipated. Before cooking the mushrooms, I cut them into little chicken strips. These mushrooms, as the name suggests, taste nearly identical to actual chicken. Now I'm going to saute the mushrooms over the fire to make Chicken of the Woods tacos. I add barbecue sauce for extra flavor and also moisture. This is a delicious combination. As the mushrooms became drier with the heat of the fire, I added more barbecue sauce to keep them moist. Since I built the campfire so close to my house, I had the luxury of being able to bring all the ingredients necessary for a complete taco.
Now that the base is complete, I add cheese, guac, and kimchi. This is probably the best meal ever made in the woods. It was so savory and nourishing. After a delicious dinner, I watched the sun set on the mountains. <laughs>